Hello everyone and welcome. This video is going to be a little different because today I'm going to be talking about this handsome scale from Vaunt. This is a convenient device that you can use for yourself or you can give it to someone as a gift. With Mother's Day around the corner, I decided to get my mom something that she would enjoy and it would also be useful for her. I decided to share this with you guys because this is something that you can give to your mom, your wife, or whomever is the cook in your family. It is also so affordable that you can buy one for yourself and use it in the shop, the office, or any place else, as I will demonstrate. So this little scale has multiple uses and is very affordable. Since I know a lot of you like to shop at Harbor Freight, I also have a scale from Harbor Freight to do a comparison. So let's unbox this cool little scale and take a look at it. But before we do that, if you enjoy watching honest tool and product reviews, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you get notified every time I produce a new product or tool review video. All right, so let's see what we have here. You can get a better shot of the box right there. This was an Amazon purchase, link in description below. And this retails for a small amount of only $10.99. And, to make it even better, this comes with a lifetime warranty. So here you go, you get some uh, information as to how to use it, and for registration and so forth. And you get the scale, and the batteries are included. So let me unwrap all this, and I'll be right back. Alright, so this is what you get when you unbox it, this handsome looking stainless steel scale. And this scale is usable in multiple different places but it's meant mostly for the kitchen. But like I said, it is still a good scale you can use anywhere else. This is from Amazon, link in description below. Retails for $10.99, which is a steal. It's a bargain, really. And it has a lifetime warranty. And get this, it's not just a lifetime warranty against defects. They actually say on the, on the Amazon page, it says if it gets broken, if it gets stolen, if it gets lost, anything, they'll replace it. That is a crazy, fantastic warranty. I can't believe it. Honestly, I don't think anybody else has created such a warranty like that before. But anyway, so this includes the scale and the batteries and the manual information on how to use it. Very, very inclusive. Everything you need is right there. Pull it out of the box and start using it right away. It is made out of food grade stainless steel and it only weighs eight ounces. This is really nothing at all. It is feather light. The dimensions are only seven inches in length, five inches in width, and half an inch in thickness. It's about the thickness of an iPad. It is that thin. That tells you how thin this little guy really is. And it measures in ounces, pounds, grams, milliliter, and fluid ounces. It, the range that it has on the scale is as low as one gram, one milliliter, or 0.04 ounces. And it'll measure anything from one ounce to a maximum of 176 ounces or 11 pounds. Now the story behind this is rather interesting. And the reason I got this was, like I said, for Mother's Day, but it didn't start off like that. The way this started out was I was at Harbor Freight shopping around looking for tools to do reviews for you guys. And I came across a scale at Harbor Freight, this little guy right here. So I was walking through the store, I saw this and I said, you know what, that's not a bad gift from my mom. Mother's Day is in a couple of weeks. I may just get that for her and give it to her so she can use it in the kitchen or wherever she wants. My mom loves to cook, so this would be a great gift for Mother's Day. So that's what I did. I bought this when I was getting the tool that I'm going to do a review on for you guys in a few weeks. Anyway, so I bought this, took it home, unwrapped it, looked at it, make sure everything was fine, and I left it at that. A few days later, I'm on the internet on Amazon looking for other tools and products to review for you guys, and I came across this guy. And I said, this is fantastic. It does everything that the Harbor Freight guy will do, but look at it. It is sleek, it is handsome, it is stainless steel, it is modern. It has a much better warranty, it has a much better price. This guy retails for $21.99, 22 bucks. So 22 bucks here, 11 bucks here. This guy is so affordable that I decided to get two of them. There you go, I have two of them. This one, the one that is closed that I have not opened, is going to be for my mom. This one that I opened, I'm going to keep. And I'm going to use it in the shop, in my office, when I need to mail off packages and stuff like that. Very convenient to check it before I go to the post office. This guy here is going back to the store because there's no comparison. This guy is big, bulky, heavy, 
much more expensive. Worse warranty. Lifetime, 90 days. 22 bucks, 11 bucks. Sleek, handsome, modern, old fashioned, boring vanilla. I mean, there's no comparison between the two. If I had done some shopping first, I probably would have got this one instead of this one. But then again, you guys wouldn't get this video a comparison of the two products side by side. So this is a much better deal as far as I'm concerned. And like I said, one for me, one for my mom. I'm sure she's going to be super happy because she has a lot of stainless steel stuff in her kitchen. So that'll match perfectly. So let's do a little bit of uh, weighing of different things and see exactly how these guys perform. Oh, and as far as the thickness goes, let me put these together. And actually, you can see right there, look at the dimensions of the two. Look at the difference in thickness of the two. The Harbor Freight one is colossal. It is gigantic. It is huge. This little guy is tiny in comparison in thickness and in size. So this is much easier to store away in your kitchen, in a drawer, uh, you know, in your office, in a drawer, anywhere. Very, very convenient. So let's start doing some measurements. Okay, guys. So the way to find out if a scale is accurate is to test it with a known factor. I already turned on the scale. And like you see, the LCD right there goes to zero. It's already set to grams by default. So it's very easy to get started. And we have a known scale right here, a known weight, I should say. This is for measuring scales and so forth. And this is 100 grams stamped on there, as you can tell. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to test the scale and see how it performs. And it does go off, as you can see. If you leave it for too long, it'll start to turn itself off. But it does go dark first, telling you that it's about ready to go off. So it does that to conserve battery life. So let's start off with the 100 grams and see how accurate this is. And there you go, 100 grams. It is accurate right out of the box. So that's very good right there. And this, like I said, for anything that you put on here, if you spill anything, easy to clean off, very, very nice. So let's try a few other things as well. Like I said, for regular folks like us that are not cooks, because I'm not a cook, my wife is, my mother is, but I'm not. And if we wanted to measure something, let's say a box that I want to send off to someone, I would use this scale, pop it right on here, and it tells me it weighs 205 grams. Or I can change it to kilograms, pounds, so it's 0.45 pounds, 7.23 ounces, obviously milliliters doesn't fit in this case, milk does not fit in this case, but I can go through all the units and find out exactly what I want if I wanted to mail this box off. So before I go to the post office, I already know the weight that I'm dealing with. Okay, so how useful is this little scale in the shop? Well, in my case, I do a lot of tool reviews and sometimes it's convenient to know how much a tool weighs. Sometimes it is not accurate on the website or it doesn't have any information at all. So let's use, for example, a little while ago, I did a review of this uh, cordless ratchet from Earthquake and I believe, if I remember correctly, it said it weighed about three pounds. That should be with the battery included. I put all that in there. Let's see exactly how much this weighs with the battery already in it. So three pounds, is it accurate? I've already set it to pounds. Let's put it on there gently. And there you go, 2.976 pounds. That's about as close to a rounded off three pounds as you can get. So actually, Harbor Freight was accurate on the weight of this unit. But I can do my own calibration right here and check it to make sure that they were telling the truth. In the future, I'll be able to use this to check other tools to see if they tell the truth or not, or check tools that don't give me the information at all. This will help me to make my videos more accurate for you guys. Okay, another thing that's useful for us in the shop is you can use this to measure out liquids. And let's say you're doing something like measuring out liquids for uh, some solvents you have to use for a paint or something like that. Well, you start off with an empty container, first of all, and this is where the tear function or tar function that I told you about previously comes in handy. You put on the empty container just like this, and then you use the tear, and I don't know if you have to hold it down or not. There you go, that zeroed it out. So you use the tear function, it zeroes it out so the container doesn't weigh anything, and then you put in your measurement of whatever you need to do. And I'm, I don't have a particular measurement, I'm gonna throw in some random liquid here, and let's see exactly what it tells me. So let's say I needed to get to uh, 4.8 ounces. There you go, exactly. It tells me exactly 4.8 ounces without the container. And then you go, you use this, you do your measurement, 
and you come back and refill it, do whatever you need to do. And that's how useful it is to have the tear function and you can measure liquids and stuff right here for your painting projects or whatever kind of projects you need liquids for. It's not only in the kitchen that you're going to use liquids, we guys use it in the shop also. Okay guys, some final thoughts on the Milo scale from Vont, which is basically a fantastic scale as far as I'm concerned. It is sleek, modern, lightweight, compact, inexpensive, fantastic warranty. It is a great gift or it's great for yourself. I'm keeping this one for myself. The one in the closed box is going to my mom as a Mother's Day gift. The Harbor Freight scale is going back to the store. It is old, boring, vanilla, terrible warranty, double the price of this one. Check out their uh, Amazon page if you want more details. I think it's a fantastic scale. I think you'll love it too. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, and I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Bye-bye for now.